Hi, Mr. White, it's Maureen Hux, the nurse practitioner student. I'm sorry to hear you got a burn on your leg from your motorcycle. I prepared this video to help you with your dressing changes. There are a few things that you will need to have on hand. One is the Sylvadine cream um, that you picked up from the pharmacy. I would need you to have some, some gauze, nonstick pads, something to wrap around your leg to secure the pad, and we can get going. Um, a Sylvadine cream that I prescribed for you is a special cream made for burns. It protects the skin from infection and also helps it to heal. To begin with, you might find that you're most comfortable doing this in the bathroom as you'll need to wash your hands as well as the burn on your leg. So first you'll begin by washing your hands with some soap and water, making sure you clean um, any dirt out from underneath your fingernails. You don't have to use a special soap. Um, regular hand soap is fine. Just dry your hands well with the towel. Um, now you would want to remove the old dressing. You're gonna to wanna to pull that dressing back away from the skin gently. Um, if you feel like any part of the bandage is stuck to your skin, you can run it under some water to, to loosen it. Next, you'll want to, next you're gonna to wanna to clean the wound. So you might find this easier since it is your lower leg to do it either in the shower or in the bathtub. So you're going to wanna to wash it. The best thing to use is a mild soap like Dove, or if you have an ivory soap, we want to try to avoid harsh soaps like Irish Spring or Dial, any kind of those deodorant soaps. So you're going to want to use some soap and cool water to cleanse the site where the burn is. And you'll also want to remove any of the old Sylvadine cream that may have been on the burn site. Once you've done that, you also want to look to make sure there's no any, no dirt in the wound, no, nothing in the wound. After you've washed it and rinsed it thoroughly, you wanna take a clean towel and you wanna, you wanna pat it dry. You don't wanna rub, best to pat it dry. You wanna look at the skin around the burn. So you'll wanna look at and see if there's any new redness around the burn or any new swelling. You might notice for the first three to even five days, there might be a little bit of swelling in that site. But if you start noticing any more pain or swelling or redness, you'll want to notify us at the clinic. Now is going to be the time to apply the Silvadine cream after the, you've washed the burn and you've gone ahead and patted it dry. So for this Silvadine cream, we're going to apply it, but the best thing to do to apply it is if you have a clean, wooden stick as an applicator, as that would be great. If you don't, you'd wanna use any kind of a clean glove and put that on the hand. We're trying to avoid you putting your bare fingers inside the actual jar of Sylvadine, trying to keep that as clean as possible. So either a gloved hand, or you can pick up these little sticks as well at the pharmacy. So with this cream, we're gonna go ahead and put on a thin layer onto the burn site. Sometimes we say about a nickel thick. So you wanna use the applicator. And if it was your hand, you're gonna put on a nice, nice thin layer, making sure it covers the, the entire area of, of the burn. And once you've got that area covered, you're going to wanna use some kind of a non-stick gauze pad to place on top. You're gonna to go ahead and, this is of course to be on your lower leg, but you're gonna place a, a gauze pad that's gonna cover the entire area of the burn and where you've got that, where you've got that Sylvadine cream. The next thing you can do is you can either buy a gauze wrap to cover it. You can use an old clean sock that you cut to slip over it, anything just to keep it in place. Now, if during the day this dressing gets dirty or it comes loose, you're going to want to go ahead and repeat this process. We don't want there to we don't want it to be open to air right now. We don't want any dirt to get in the wound. If you've got any further questions, I think you're going to do great with taking care of this. You can go ahead and please call me in the office, and I will see you in two weeks for a follow-up call. Thank you.